Welcome to Signing the Word. God is good. Amen. Last night was amazing. We really enjoyed our service. We went to um, Stockton to their special conference called the Bridge Conference. Brother Nolan preached a wonderful message. And we're excited and looking forward to going back tonight. This morning I'll be teaching there for the, the 11 o'clock service to pray for me. Today we'll be looking in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. Some people believe that, that this verse shows that there are three individual persons. But you have to be careful and know that there's no actual person in heaven, there's a spirit. The Bible is very clear, so we're going to follow his word. Like I've commented before, and I'll comment again. And I've t taught it many, many times. First John chapter five and verse seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven. And now we're gonna add, so look here. It says, there are three that bear witness in earth. So verse 7 says heaven and verse 8 says earth. So now, on earth what do you see? Is it all visible or invisible? You can see the universe, yes, but you can't see the spiritual things. So we're going to go back up a little bit. In verse John 5 and 6 says, This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only but by water and blood. When Jesus was human and he was up on the cross and they, they put a spear in his side, blood and water came out. And it is the spirit We know that there's only one spirit. We can't see the spirit, but the spirit is everywhere. He has all power in heaven and earth. Praise God. And it is a spirit that beareth witnesses, witness because the spirit is truth. There is no lie in him. It doesn't say them as a many, it says him. So then we see the belief of Trinity, that they all work in unity as the three individuals, that there's a Father, there's a Son, and then there's a Holy Ghost. And they're all co-equals. They all work in unity. But we'll see that there's still only one God. And I grew up in the Catholic Church, and I was taught there was three I never had a Bible to really study myself. I just heard and I agreed. 
until I started reading. And I started asking for people to show me. And I got the revelation and I do not believe in Trinity anymore. There's a lot of different ways that the deaf will sign Trinity. But it all has the same meaning. And they wanted to show me that this verse proves there's three gods. Let's see what the word of God speaks. Okay, because the spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The father being God. Remember, God is a spirit. We can't see God. Because he's a spirit. Okay? Make sense? The word. Can you see the word? The word in Greek is logos, meaning the thought or the plan. God has thoughts and the plan. Can you see my thoughts? I can't see them until I physically sign them to you. So God was the creator of everything. And that was his thought process, was to, to create everything. So he spoke the word, let there be light. And there's been light since he spoke it. Okay, so that's his word. And the Holy Ghost. Can we see the Holy Ghost? Right now we have the Holy Ghost moving and working on changing people's lives. So the Holy Ghost is Christ coming into a person and says these three are, meaning you can't separate. If you say three in one, it is possible to separate because you have two in one, and one comes out, but this it says these three are one. So the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost these three are one. Now, who is that? That's Jesus. In verse 8, and there are three that bear witness in earth. We have difference of record and witness so if you saw something happening and the the person or a cop tells you I need you to be a witness because you've seen what happened maybe this person on the stand is asking you to be a witness for them because you've seen what happened And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. So they abide in the flesh 
the human flesh that Jesus manifested into. Now, is Jesus and the Father separate? No, Jesus is the Father. Jesus is the everlasting Father. He's the only Savior of us. This is why we, we emphasize, if you want to be saved, you must repent. You want to say, I know that I've sinned, and I repent to God. There's one, thought, one faith, one baptism, one Lord. And when he became flesh, he became our only savior. He died and resurrected. And when we're baptized, we're baptized in his name, Jesus, for the remission of our sins. And we get the Holy Ghost to become like Christ. Praise God. I believe in one God, and he is Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you get more understanding today. Love you and God.